Hello and welcome to this session. I am Raghav and today we will learn how to add a project to GitHub from scratch and we will go very basic step by step and learn how to create a GitHub repository, how to clone the repository in Eclipse, how to add the Eclipse project to GitHub repository and finally we will see how to commit, push and pull the changes and I will also be discussing some useful tips during this session. So let's get started and let us see the five simple steps we need to have our project added to github and before i start with step number one let us go to our eclipse and see this is the project that we have been creating and we would want to do a version controlling of our project and add to github because of two major reasons the first reason is our project will be safe on a common or a central repository or on a cloud repository so that if anything happens here on my local system if i lose any data my project and all my data is still stay safe on the repository and the second reason is if we are working in an organization with multiple team members and all the team members are working on the same project then we might want to share and uh, update the changes and do version controlling so that we can commit and push and look at all the all the changes and manage them so for that we need some version controlling and therefore we want to add to git so now let us see the first step is we have to create an account on github so now I will go to my browser I will go to google and go to github so here you will find this github.com go to this website and this is the website for github and you can pick a username, give your email ID, select any password and then sign up for GitHub and uh, remember your username and remember your password and also give a valid email ID because a uh, activation link will be sent to your email and once you have signed up you can then sign in. So here is the sign in. You can then sign in and give your username or password, username or email ID and password to sign in. So step, step number two is sign in to GitHub and create a repository. So let me sign in with my username I already have an account so I will use my username and my password to sign in and here once you have signed in you can either click on start project or you can go to this plus icon and go to new repository both of these actions will take you to a new repository page and here we will give a repository name so I will say this is selenium java framework one and you can give some description which is optional keep it public because private repositories are paid so we will keep it public for now and say create repository so this will create a repository and this is the url of your newly created repository so we have done step number one and step number two and step number three is now we will start our eclipse and go to the git perspective so i will minimize this and open my eclipse and here you will find this button to open perspective on your eclipse so go here and here you will find multiple perspectives and you will find git here now git perspective is available in most of the earlier versions of uh, eclipse and i can see that this is available since last several versions so you should also be having this if you are using a really old version of eclipse you might not get this so then you might have to add it but assuming that you will also get this perspective option i will select git and say open and it will open a git perspective here and the git repositories window now you might also find this getting opened in the bottom left corner or a bottom right corner there that is fine the only thing is you should get this three buttons the first button is add an existing local git repository the second button is clone a git repository and the third button is create a new local git repository now if you are not getting the text and only the buttons that is also fine so the next step is we have to select clone a git repository because we have already created our repository in github so we will say clone a git repository so go here and now you have to give the url so here you will find this empty window like this and you will copy your url from here from github you can click this or copy this manually and then give your repository url here paste it here it will auto complete the host and repository path and you can also give your username and password of github and to avoid adding your username and password again and again you can click on this store in a secure store and as of now i am keeping this default and say next 
and say next and just finish it and you will get this repository edit so you can see selenium java framework 1 is here now we have to do the next step which is share our project on git and then we can do commit and push so let us see how to do that i will go back to my java perspective i will go here it will again show me my project i will right click on my project and go to team and here i will get an option for share project so click here and here in the window configure git repository you will get this repository drop down and here you will get your option for the repository that you just added and you will get this only after you have added your git repository to eclipse so select this and say finish and it will add this to uh, repository let me see some problem here so okay so it is being used so let me just first delete this uh, or uncheck this and let me just say so you will also see this right you will also see a working tree or the location where it will be getting added you can change this if you want and let me say this and say finish and yes it is working now so it is now added and you will also see some changes in the icon which is fine so now our project is added and if you now go to your github and refresh your repository or refresh your browser you will not see any changes here because we have still not committed and pushed our project so now we will commit and push so now if you do a right click again on your project and go to team you will now get all these options and this you will get only after you have shared your project so now you are getting commit and fetch and pull and all these git options i will say commit and here you will get all your project changes which are uncommitted so this is this is i am doing for the first time so i am getting all these options so what i will do is i will select all and drag them to the staged changes area so i will drag them here it will get added i can write a commit message first commit edit project and here now you can say commit and then you can do push later on or you can do commit and push at the same time so i will say commit and push and click on this button and here i will it will by default go to master branch and say next and here i have to give my github user and password so i will say this is my github username and my password here and i'm not storing in a secure store but you can store it so that it will not ask you again and say ok and say finish it will again ask so let me give it again username and password for github and say ok and here you can see the progress so you can see the progress and it is pushing and it is now done and you can close it and now if you go to your repository or github and if you refresh this let us refresh it and now you will see your project here and you can see your commit message and if i go inside my folder you will see all your project here so i can see everything in my project is here and here i can go to source i can see all my files all my packages and if i go to this demo package all my files are here so everything is now added now whenever you do any changes you can do the same steps for example let me do some change in my project i will just go to my demo package and i will create a new class i will say new class i will say github demo and just say finish and now if you again do a right click on your project and go to team and go to commit it should show you whatever is not yet committed so you can see github demo is showing as unstaged so i will drag it to the staged changes and i can give any message so always give some message so that it is very easy for others to see what changes you have done i will say edit github demo class 
for testing and commit and push username for github password for github and say ok and I will use master and say configure I'll say save and push again I will give the username and password and say ok so let me go again and look at if my changes have come here uh, if I go to selenium framework yeah actually it has already added so it has added it at the background it has already added I was now I was finding for the finish button but it has already added the background so now if I go and see you can see my message here added github demo class for testing and if I go inside and go to my source and go to my test java and go to my demo package I should see github demo.java is added here okay and again if anyone wants to fetch this or pull this you can again they can again have git on their eclipse and then if they go to team you can do a pull as well so this is how you can do a pull push and then add all your changes and this is how you can add your project on github so i hope this session was very useful for you i will suggest that you do hands-on so that this concept of git and github is very clear and i have a separate uh, playlist a separate series on git and github in in case you want to learn that from scratch you can watch that and i will meet you in the next video thank you for watching